Hey, if you don't get a job, you won't get experience. So how do you get the experience if you don't get the job? Do you understand what I'm saying? Hey fam, how are you all doing? Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get working experience in the UK. And this video is especially for you if you live in the UK and you're thinking or struggling to get working experience in order to get the job of your dreams. Okay, but before I go on, if this is your first time of coming to my channel and you like videos like this, then please subscribe, turn on your bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my updates going forward. In my previous video, I mentioned that in order to get yourself a professional job, the job of your dream in the UK, there's every likelihood that you'll be required to have experience working in the country or working in that field in order to get a job. But if you are a newcomer and you don't have working experience, how can you get a job? Okay, if you don't get a job, you won't get experience. So how do you get the experience if you don't get the job? Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's really hard. A lot of people struggle because they don't have working experience. Therefore, they can't get their job. I've also talked about the websites that you can go to if you're looking for a professional job or if you're looking for any job for that matter. So I've done a video on that. So you might want to take a look at the description box and I'll also put a link up here so you can have a look and just uh, look at the videos yourself. In today's video, we're going a bit further and we're going to be talking about how to get this working experience so that you can get yourself that job that you really want okay and the number one on my list is volunteering so paid or unpaid volunteering jobs and these are quite easy to me they are the easiest way to get experience working in a particular industry or in the country and I did that as well when I came into the country when I wanted a, a specific job I mentioned in my previous video that while I was a student in the UK I did some jobs that were in professional they were paid low paying jobs and they were for professional jobs just to get myself by just to be able to pay my bills but it came a point where I needed to get myself a professional job so I've been to school I've studied I've done my master's degree now I wanted something that was more befitting to the career because I spent money <laughs> you know getting my degree so I wanted to do something that would earn me good money and also something that was professional and what I did was to go for an unpaid volunteering role okay so this I know sound pleasing to you because obviously what you want is to be paid However, without experience, without any experience, the likelihood of you landing that job that you really want is very, very slim. Okay, so yes, I did that. I volunteered for a couple of months. Thankfully, not for too long. I was applying in the process and then I got a professional job for myself. Okay, so you can also do those volunteering roles and also do the unprofessional jobs by the wayside so you can have a means of paying your bills. So that's another option for you. So you're not losing out at all. There are different ways in which you can volunteer. You can volunteer for companies, okay? Or you can volunteer for community projects. You can volunteer if you go to church, you can volunteer to do something in your church that would earn you the experience that you need. You can also volunteer in shops. So there are some shops that are charity shops that you can go in and say, okay, you know what? I want to volunteer for maybe six months or three months just so I can get some experience and they would allow you to do it and also some retail shops as well they, they will take you as a volunteer because they know that you want to learn the way you can get working experience in the UK is by shadowing say for instance you know the job you want to do you can say you can go to the company and say okay you know what this is a job I want to do can I shadow someone that's doing the job for a particular period of time again maybe three months again maybe six months maybe one month it depends on what you want and in that process, you begin to, to get the experience. Another way that you can get learning experience is through apprenticeships and internships. So in this case, you work as an apprentice in a company or an organization, whatever it is, you work as an apprentice for a couple of, for a couple of months or as an intern in that company and you get paid. Sometimes you're paid, sometimes you're not. But again, it gives you the experience that you want that you're going to use in the long term again what you're thinking of is the long-term goal not just the, the goal at the moment okay so you want to do that only requirement for that is that you would have to have been in the UK for three years prior to you putting in your application okay so another opportunity to get working the experience is to do a lower paying job say for instance you want to work in a certain industry you know that you've got certain degree like for me when I started after doing my volunteering 
for a couple of weeks what i did was to go for a lower paying job in the same industry and a lot of people do this as well so once they've gained experience in that lower paying job they, they move up to the next level in their career and then up and then up okay but if you don't if you decide that the, the pay is too low and then you don't want to do it then the likelihood of you getting the job the high paying job that you're looking for you might not even get it another opportunity to to learn or to gain working experience is to work in a similar industry so industry that have similar skills transferable skills skills that you can transfer from one industry to another example would be maybe for instance you want to work in a company and one of the requirements of the role is interpersonal skills or maybe communication skill there are so many other organizations where you can get those kind of skills and then you can transfer that, those skills to the, the job that you really want to do. The last on my list today is for you to work for, for an agency. So agencies are organizations that would give you ad hoc or temporary jobs where you can gain skills, required skills that you need that you can then use for the job that you want. So this, the only disadvantage is that this, these jobs are zero contract hours and you might not get jobs all the time. But again, what we are looking at is a long term goal. So yes, you might not get the job that you want at that time. You might not get the kind of pay that you want, but you're looking at the long term goal. You know, you're looking at the long term goal, not just the present goal. Because if you're thinking of, I want this now, I want this now, I want this now, then the likelihood is that you won't even get the thing that you want. You just keep struggling. Okay, so these are just a few things from me on how to get working experience in the UK and I think it might be applicable to other countries as well okay not just the UK I hope these tips have been helpful if they have give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so but thank you so so much for watching this video as always and I'll see you in my next video